So first things first, I'm at home.dynamics.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and click on my Business Central application to log into my instance of Business Central. Now I'm set up as a system administrator here. So in terms of what you're going to see, I actually have the Business Manager role center that's applied. I'm not going to go over the look and feel of the application because the assumption we have at this session is that you already have a little bit of background on how to interact with it. So you can see now I'm logged into Business Central. I have my menu that's related to it as my business management role center. Uh, and there are a couple of different role centers that you can use that are more specific to manufacturing, but we're going to exist within this and go through the setup of it. So the very first thing that we're going to look at is going to be our manufacturing setup. And so this is the area that you're going to go um, to be able to then basically set up a lot of the capabilities that you need to uh, basically drive uh, the numbers that you're going to be using. So if I go to my manufacturing setup, we're going to type that in, make sure I spell it correctly. It's hard to type and talk sometimes. But if we go to our manufacturing setup and click on it, this is where we get into some detailed information of how we actually go through and then set up the actual um, instance. So it looks like right now I'm actually logged into a company that doesn't have the setup. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go into my settings and I'm going to change the company to my Cronus USA company and then click on OK and then re-log into it. So one thing to note is that we can actually have multiple companies companies that are within Business Central. So if you do have one organization that actually does manufacturing and another that does not, you do need to make sure that you actually go through the setup within that organization to then drive that uh, manufacturing setup within the solution. So once we get logged into here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same exact thing. We're going to go into our manufacturing setup. So. Uh, So there we have it. Go ahead and click on it. And inside of here, we're going to see a couple of setups that I just want to highlight for you. So um, depending upon what you have set up for capacity, we generally go through and set up what your normal starting and ending times are for within your organization. And remember, this doesn't have to be specific. There's shift setup that we have as well, but we're setting up our times. We're setting up how do we actually want the output quantity when we show that. How do we want to show that in terms of is it going to be what's expected there that should be defaulted? Um, what is our capacity? Are we planning it in terms of minutes, hours, days? Um, this is where you can set up a lot of those general setups. And remember, these are general setups, meaning that you can actually set up products that are measured in hours versus minutes. The key thing I wanted to just highlight for you here is if you're setting up manufacturing within Business Central, you need to make sure that you populate your numbering down here that defines the number series for the manufacturing. So how are you doing your simulated order numbers? What are your routing numbers or your bomb numbers going to be so that when you automatically create these particular uh, items or production bombs or routings, it's using the correct uh, number series related to it. And I'll, I'll show that as we go through the process. The last thing I wanted to note is that some companies use what's called the cost includes setup. So when we go through this process, we're going to create an item. We're going to have costs for those raw materials and costs for that labor. But what we're also going to do is then define a roll up for it. So it actually goes through and brings those costs from the lower levels up to the parent part for accurate costing. Some organizations want to include setup time as part of that cost. And so that's where you can enable that from within our manufacturing setup to drive that. And then the last portion here is just going to be the planning portion of it, making sure that you set up some of the default safety lead times for when planning is actually being calculated. If you're not using MRP or what we call the planning worksheet within Business Central, generally speaking, you're not going to have to go through and change a lot of these values. I've exposed it here. So that way in the future, if you have questions about it, you can see what the defaults are. Uh, within an environment. Um, and so this is a demo setup, but from here then you can actually go through and drive your setup and your manufacturing setup.